I recently made a full video tutorial about making bots with Discord.js, but I received a lot of questions on the very first part, how to actually install the library Discord.js. Uh, so that video kind of assumed that you've worked with Node and NPM before, and it glosses over the installation process. But today I wanted to zoom in and cover that process in more detail. Uh, so if you want to build a bot with Discord.js, but you've never used Node or NPM before, this video is for you. So the first thing we want to do is install Node.js from Node's website. So we go to nodejs.org and we'll be greeted with this landing page. It automatically detects what system you're on. So I'm on a Mac here, but if you're on Windows or Linux, that's fine. It'll probably say that here. And you want to choose this option here that says recommended for most users. If you click that, it'll open the installer and you can install that to your machine. This is going to give you Node and NPM, which is Node's packaging manager on your computer. Uh, more on that in a second. Uh, and by the way, if you've already done this before and you're maybe on an older version of Node, you should be able to just install this as normal and it will update you to whatever version is current. Now that we have Node installed, let's go ahead and create the actual project that we're going to install Discord.js into. So right here on my desktop, I'm just going to create a new directory, call it something like my Discord bot, whatever you want your project to be called. Uh, and then I'm going to drag this directly into VS Code. And you can use whatever text editor you want. Um, whatever terminal you want, we're going to need both. Uh, but I like VS Code because it comes with a really nice terminal built in and it's totally free and open source to use. So if you're totally new to this kind of thing, I highly recommend VS Code. I'll link to that in the description below. Okay, so here I am in our empty project in VS Code. First thing I want to do is hit Control tilde, oops, Control tilde to open a new terminal. And that's going to pop this up right here. And in there, what we're going to do is type npm init. That's going to take this new directory that we made and um, create a new node project out of it. And so it's going to ask us some questions on uh, configuration for the project. And we don't really need to answer them right now. We can just keep hitting enter, 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 enter. You can always fill these in later. What this is going to do is create a package.json file in your project. You can see that here. So like I mentioned earlier, NPM stands for Node Package Manager. And you can think of that as like the official place that developers all over the world um, host JavaScript and Node libraries that they've created for other people to use. So Discord.js, for example, is a JavaScript library, Node library, by the team that works at Discord, the company. So instead of us going out and getting the project from them directly, we can get it through NPM and always ensure that we have the latest versions. And NPM kind of controls the package dependencies for us, which is very handy. Now let's actually install the library. So I'll come down here, uh, give us some space. I'm going to type npm install discord.js and make sure you spell this exactly right. That's very important. What this command is going to do is go out to that npm community, um, find the package called discord.js and download it to our project. So here we go. Now here's what that actually did. You see that uh, that command added a new part to our package.json called dependencies. And in that we already have discord.js with the version uh, specified. Uh, and so if I kind of reveal that in the file system, what that did is it went out to NPM and created a, a package for us called node modules. And in here is everything that the library discord.js requires. So there's kind of a lot of stuff in here, uh, but we didn't have to worry about any of that. We just had to type that one command. But now, just so you know, all of these files have been created in that previously empty directory that we set up just a minute ago. The package is installed. That's great. So let's go ahead and actually set up the code to start making our bot. So what I'll do is make just a new file in here. I'll call it app.js. Uh, at the very top, I'm going to say const discord equals uh, require discord.js. You see it already kind of auto-completed. I think it knows that it's installed, so it suggests it for us. And what this is going to do when this line of code runs, this require line is going to go out to that node modules directory and look for a path called discord.js. And it's going to import that so we can use it in this file here. Uh, so let's go ahead and run this. And um, uh, what, we, what we're doing here is we're going to run this file and just make sure no errors happen. So if we see this line of code, um, you know, something like that, uh, then we know that everything worked properly. So I'll go down here. I'll say node app.js, which is the name of the file. So it's going to use the node programming language, run this file app.js. And we see our output here. Hello from discord bot file. And just for fun, say that I had this misspelled correctly. Say I change it to something like, I don't know, something that's not real. And then we come down in here and try to run the project again. We're going to see this nasty error message. And so if you see something like this, it usually means that something is misspelled. 
or the installation didn't work right. Uh, and on that note, if you do see any other type of error during this process, it's always a good idea just to Google that. You'll often quickly find a stack overflow or similar result of someone else that's been through the exact same thing. And there's usually a helpful answer there to help you figure out the problem. I'm gonna go ahead and undo all that. So we're back to discord.js. And now here is where this video kind of uh, stops and my tutorial for building a bot begins. So our code for the Discord bot will live in this file. I'll go ahead and link to that video right now. It'll play right after this one. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you did, I really appreciate you hitting that like button. And if you're interested in more game dev and JavaScript tutorial videos, you could subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. Uh, so thanks again. Have a great time coding your Discord bot. I'll catch you later.